Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing good today. So I'm back with another podcast, and I wanted to talk about some things that were going on yesterday on social media that were just really disturbing in the sports community, okay? So before we get down to the nitty gritty, I just had to shout out Giannis Antetokounmpo. He went from the finals MVP to winning an NBA championship. And it's just been amazing to watch not only his growth, but also his brothers and just their story, you know, the whole Greek freak story and watching them you know, go through everything they went through in Greece and then coming to America and now finally winning that NBA championship. So shout out to them. I just think it's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? He's representing Greek. He's representing his Nigerian heritage and now America. So, you know, I just want to leave with some good news, honey. Okay. Before we dig into this tea. Now, what I really want to talk about is the drama that's going on with LeBron James. If you guys don't know, former WNBA player, um, Cappy Point Dexter, came out with some really outrageous claims yesterday. And I think the saddest part in all of this is the fact that so many blogs, so many YouTubers, and you know, people of color at that were even entertaining this. They literally took this small 30 second clip of her going off and accusing LeBron James of being a sex trafficker and stealing her money and they use that as an aha moment to bash LeBron James. He was trending all over Twitter. People had no proof. People were just running with it. And so I didn't know about this until later on that day because people just started sending me the clip like, oh, my God, what do you think about this? LeBron James is a sex trafficker. And I'm like, offer the words of Cappy Point Dexter. Wasn't she missing a year ago that they sent out an APB for her looking for her on social media because she had gotten arrested for like some type of domestic violence dispute and she just, you know, fell off the face of the earth. They found her. And so that kind of stood out weird to me because she's had her own issues. And so what I found very interesting is that people just ran with this clip. And I'm going to go ahead and play this clip for you guys so you guys can listen to the clip that folks ran with. I ain't confused. I ain't on that shit. That nigga tried to kill me for real. I just fucking got out of that shit. I've been missing for almost like two years. I ain't even know where the fuck I was at. I do not fuck with LeBron James. That nigga's a trafficker, my nigga. That nigga is a trafficker. He is a fucking trafficker. He traffic women in real time. That nigga stole all my money out of my bank account. So you guys just heard that clip. Now that is the clip that many blogs ran with. I mean, they use that as their aha moment, you know, against LeBron James. And it was just really sad because when I finally saw the clip, I'm like, so am I the only one who can't tell that this is the rantings of somebody suffering from a possible mental illness or a mental illness breakdown? I just thought it was very, very disturbing. Now, she claimed that she was missing for two years, but the WNBA had posted um, on October 8th, 2020, they stated, we are sharing this out of concern for our fellow WNBPA sister, Cappy Poindexter. If you have any information, please contact authorities. Please help us spread the word to ensure that she is safe. Thank you. That was October 8th that they came out and said that she was missing. Literally later on that day, the same day, they did an update. Update, we have located Cappy Point Dexter. She is now safe. We want to thank everyone who helped us get the word out and who sent love and prayers. The power of the Lord is real. Please respect Cappy and her family's privacy during this time. God bless. So basically later on that day, she was found. So for her to say that she was missing for two years and then just show up on social media, people should have known that something wasn't right. So of course, I wasn't going to go run with that. So I went to go look for more information. Like, okay, I need to see a longer clip. I mean, does she describe in details? Like, what, 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 is, what is the context of this conversation? Because all I was finding was, was this 30-second clip. And so I go and I go to look up more stuff about her. There's literally videos of this woman saying that she's Beyonce's wife. She's going out on folks. She's saying that LeBron stole $30 million from her that she, you know, owned Nike. Nike's her company. So this is what I wrote on Instagram. 
I said, sigh. Okay, I just watched former WNBA star Cappy Point Dexter's video. She accused LeBron James of sex trafficking and stealing all her money. Social media, of course, ran with it and called LeBron James a sex trafficker with no proof. Now, if you watch more of her live stream, you'll see what I see. I'm getting mental illness teased. In this second video, she's arguing with people about Beyonce being her wife. She also claimed that Nike is her company and that LeBron James owes her $30 million. WNBA players don't make anywhere near that type of money to even accumulate 30 million. I'm not entertaining this foolishness. So that was my response once I saw a longer video of what it looked like her mental psychosis. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this longer video here. Didn't y'all see the shit? Go Google me, man. I was missing for real in real time. I don't know what's hard to believe. All y'all gotta do is stop being lazy, stop gossiping, and go look up Cappy Pondex. I don't like you, nigga. And I'm more European than you for real. I'm Scottish, Irish, and Welsh. Y'all talking about I'm going crazy? How? How can I do all the wonderful shit I've done and give back as wonderfully as I have? I touch more kids than you have. You and LeBron put together. That I promised school he was molesting them kids. I'ma talk about it. I don't care. Y'all can't kill me. I'm immortal. A two-year-old and he worth every fucking penny of it. Cause when y'all find out who he is in real time and who his sister helps run it, oh my God. You're gonna be like, oh, it's a no-brainer, man. He's already, you know, who he is. You're gonna wanna support it even more. Yeah, I live in L.A., so what? I'm, I've been living in L.A. since I was two years old. I was taken and moved to Chicago. I sure don't fuck with you. I told you Sam is nips, nigga. I don't fuck with you, Angel. I don't fuck with you. Get your ass up out of here. Ask Miss Tina. She don't fuck with you. I told you. Beyonce, my wife, for real. She a hermaphrodite, and so am I. I don't fuck with you, niggas. Basically, you feel what I'm saying? Out here, sex trafficking out here. This shit crazy than a motherfucker. Y'all heard that shit, that list? Beyonce ain't on that list. Mariotta, man, you worship the devil, bro. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you Satan-ass motherfuckers. I don't care if I play with you. You worship the devil, my nigga. That shit real as fuck, man. This shit is out here in California. These niggas. High where? I'm a smoke weed in forever, man. I wish I could get high. I don't have any money to get high because he stole my money. But it's okay. Crazy. My top five. Derrick Rose. Carmelo Anthony. Amon Shumper. Let me get personal. Yeah, I fucked Ty. Ty Young and shit. It's a little bitch I fucked. She a little popular nigga. I guess in the Game of Thrones and shit. She can't even leave L.A. now. Soldier boy, I ain't gonna even tell you about that. That nigga a monster. I got some whole shit y'all niggas don't even know. Hell yeah, I fucked that nigga for a whole hour straight. I ain't on nothing. On nothing. Go look at my page, nigga. Look at me with hair. Look at me with hair. They cut my fucking hair. Look at my real page. Look at me, baby. Google me. I'm finna put my name so y'all can Google me so y'all niggas can know I ain't playing. Man, it's a spring thing. Talking about Beyonce hoes? Miss Tina. Who is my family? Hey, Julia Suave Escobar. Man, you finna go see Miss Tina. I'ma tell y'all the truth. I'm richer than that nigga. He stole 30 million from me, my nigga. I'm richer than LeBron James. Don't let that nigga fool you. Nike is my company for real. I'm tired of you motherfuckers. I've been humble my whole motherfucking life, man. Since y'all found out that I was Cappy Marie Pondex with that who? Fuck you niggas, man. That's really my motherfucking wife. I swear to God, y'all finna pay for this shit. I'm sending all y'all niggas over here. I'm finna let this shit be like this till this motherfucker die. For real. Fuck y'all niggas. I told y'all I wanted to see happy anniversary. Fuck y'all. I told y'all I was 30 after 41 years to live. Cause she asked for it, but I only wanted 22. I was taken. Taken by the real fucking devil, man. And you know, she said some real shit today. And that's why I want my mama to handle that shit. Yes, j Lo is my motherfucking mama.
All right, so you guys just watched that video. She literally went off, you know, said LeBron stole from her. She's married to Beyonce. Tina knows, you know, her mother. She wants her mother, then rolled over and, you know, just lay down. And I just think it's just really sad to watch. And, you know, part of me is like, where's her family? Where are her loved ones? Because social media is going to feed into her delusions and they're going to basically irritate her more and more, especially reading the comments. You can tell that she was reading the comments. That's what was triggering her. The whole situation is just really sad. Y'all know I love a good conspiracy, but I feel like with the good conspiracy comes good research. There has to be. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.